Hey guys, I've made a couple videos lately about weeds that you can eat. Edible wilds or wild edibles, they're often referred to by many different terms. I've done one on purple dead nettle, one on plantain, and I'm getting ready to do one on uh, dandelion leaves. But there's one uh, edible wild or weed that you can eat that I want to talk to you about today that I want to caution you about tremendously, okay? Now the information in this video, uh, you need to pay attention to, okay? With the other weeds, uh, the dead purple dead nettle and the plantain, you've seen me like pick the leaves off of it and eat it while I'm talking to you about it uh, to prove that it's edible. I'm not going to do that with this plant, and this plant is called pokeweed, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to do that. I mean, basically because I don't want to get sick and I don't want to die. But you've probably seen pokeweed if you live in North America. It is an indigenous plant to North America, okay? Like, the plantain was brought here by European settlers. Pokeweed was not. It was already here. Now, this plant is toxic. You've probably heard people eat it because people do, but I'm going to tell you, you've got to be very careful with doing that. I don't eat it. I don't recommend you do, you do either. Please understand, this is not a video telling you how to eat pokeweed. This is a video cautioning you about eating pokeweed. Even though it is an edible wild, here's what you got to worry about. This plant is very toxic, okay? The most toxic part of this plant are the roots. The second most toxic plant part of this plant will, will come uh, towards Indian summer, the berries it will produce, the purple berries. Okay, and then you've got the stems and the leaves. Now, it's recommended for people who do eat it, and again, I don't eat it, and I don't recommend you do either, but you, you they say make sure the leaves are less than 12 inches tall, all these things, and you've got to be very careful when you see the color red. This is still a relatively young plant because um, it's still just the middle of May, but as we get down here to the shoots where they come up out of the ground, look at that. All that red, that is toxicity. It's poison, okay? Um, here's a couple misunderstandings about this plant. You know, a lot of folks who don't really know the facts will say, oh, pokeweed has medicinal purposes. The Native American Indians used it for medicinal purposes. You know what the number one medicinal, whoop, almost fell into the fence. The number one medicinal use of pokeweed was by the Native American Indians. It was to induce vomiting. They used the toxicity of the plant to make you throw up. Uh, so think about that, folks. I mean, some, uh, like the, the plantain and the purple dead nettle, it uh, helps reduce swelling and it lowers blood pressure. Those are good medicinal uses. Now, if you're talking about using a plant to make you throw up because you have food poisoning, probably from some other plant you ate, I mean, remember that documentary, Into the Wild, the movie made on that guy's book? He didn't know what he was eating and he ended up dying, a very painful, painfully slow death. Um, you know, they say with pokeweed, uh, if you're going to eat it, you've got to boil it at least twice. Get your water boiling. Put the shoots and the, the, the leaves in it that are less than 12 inches in length. Boil it once. Take them out of the water. Dump the water. Don't use the same water because it's full of toxins. Wait until another pot of water is boiling. Boil that for 10 minutes and get rid of that water. Don't rinse with cold water because that shocks the toxins and brings them back. Folks, to me... It's just not worth it. And I know a lot of you homesteaders are probably laughing, calling me a wimp. But, I mean, you know, our garden needs weeded. But but we've got vegetables growing in our garden that we know we can eat. We have, now these are a little bit big. These are dandelion greens. These would be kind of tough and bitter. I needed to get these when they were younger that I know we can eat. And we they're just, you know, and we got a house full of food. I'm not going to risk it, especially just to make a video saying, oh, look at me eating the weeds. I highly caution you when eating pokeweed. Now, my father ate them when I was a kid, and I tried it, and I didn't like it. He he prepared it properly. He grew up uh, post-depression era, but it was in Appalachia, so they were still kind of in the depression because they never really came out of the depression. And I don't mean that to sound disrespectful to anybody who's in Appalachia. Actually, the people in Appalachia won't feel disrespected by that comment because they'll they'll know it's it's true. Um, so to those who have never been to Appalachia but take offense to just about anything anybody says, I'm not trying to be offensive. As somebody who grew up in Appalachia, I can tell you uh, it's still kind of 
Okay, strong recession era there. But anyway, my father knew how to cook this stuff because his mother cooked it when he was a kid in the 40s and 50s. I don't recommend it. So those are the facts about pokeweed. Uh, the Native American Indians would dry out the roots. Uh, they would turn it into a poultice. They would treat all sorts of rheumatism with it. And rheumatism means anything really associated with swelling. So swollen joints, whatnot. Um, Europeans, when they came over, discovered the plant or were introduced to the plant by the Native American Indians. They would make a poultice out of it that they would put on cow udders to reduce the swelling from over milking. So those are a couple good benefits to it. But I mean, come on, the Native American Indians used it to make you throw up. Folks, it's very dangerous. Know what this weed is. It's considered an edible wild. But again, I do not recommend eating it. It's kind of like shark meat. They say shark meat is, is a you know a great delicacy, even though it's outlawed in most Western nations. Um, you have to have a special cleaning permit and license to know. You have to be specifically trained on how to how to clean shark meat because if you don't clean it correctly and you eat it, you can die. Pokeweed is the vegetable version of shark meat. So I would stay away. But now you know some facts. I hope you learned something from this. If you did and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid. And we'll see you next time.